Hey, teachers! Are your students struggling in class? Are they really participating in activities and assignments? How do you know if they're really learning the course content or just memorizing it? If you are uncertain or unfond of your answers, you're not alone. A national U.S. study conducted by the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence surveyed over 21,000 high school students and 75% of them had negative feelings towards school. School should be a place of learning and opportunity, and as a teacher, you have the power to change students' perception on education. Learning is a process, not a goal, and like every process, you need ingredients for learning to take place. Students need a combination of a good working environment, great teachers, and access to effective resources for productive learning to take place. The Belknap Academic Building, located in the University of Louisville, demonstrates a holistic approach to improving student learning and education. I am a student here, and my experience in this place has overall been positive, and I wanted to learn more about it. It's not your typical lecture hall. These spaces are designed to promote discussion and engagement. Classrooms here have circular tables, easily accessible huddle boards, and whiteboards with plenty of free space left over. Now, compare that to what typical classrooms look like. The Belknap Academic Building was opened in the fall of 2018, and to this day, classrooms still utilize the same exact floor plan. Why? Because students prefer to work in this type of environment. I interviewed 12 students and the majority of them preferred the BAB as the primary study space because of its spacious, comfortable, and aesthetically pleasing environment. I have English in here and I feel like a lot more like engaged with like my professor and my peers and in like traditional like lecture based classrooms. So I think it provides for better like interaction between students, which yeah. is nice. According to Teach Hub, a well-designed classroom can boost students' performance up to 16% according to a study. Placing motivation on posters, quotes, and literacy resources around the classroom can help students thrive. The seating arrangement also matters, so what can we do? For example, instead of having all seats face towards one side of the room, seats can be grouped together into clumps like this, allowing students to cooperate with another more efficiently. This means that simply rearranging the desks in your classroom can have a positive effect on student learning. The physical environment plays a role in how students learn. I mean, I think that it's important to have an environment that fosters learning in whichever way you can, right? So, you know, um, there's a lot of studies that have come out that show things like, you know, an active learning setup, uh, which is where you can talk to your partners and work with partners and, you know, you're with your peers are a better way to learn than just, you know, that big lecture hall style. Student learning not only is affected by the physical environment of a classroom, it is also affected by teaching quality. According to Gold Green Virginia, teaching quality has a more profound impact on students than class size or income. There is a positive correlation with teacher pay and student performance. A 10% increase in teacher salary can improve student performance by 5 to 10%. Students who are assigned to high value teachers are less likely to become a teenage parent and are more likely to attend college, earn higher income, and save for retirement. This means that teaching quality really makes a difference in student learning. So, how can we improve? Games can be implemented into classrooms. Hear me out. In a paper from the International Journal of Information and Learning Technology, 16 different studies observing student performance in classrooms were analyzed. 13 out of those 16 studies concluded that gamification in the classroom improved student motivation and engagement. In these studies, learning stemmed from game-like elements like badges, points, leaderboards, levels, and more. In fact, some of my professors have already implemented gamification in their classrooms as a way of teaching. For example, one of my professors utilized a classroom leaderboard where students were ranked by points earned from class activities. This encouraged students to perform their best in class while also having fun. In addition to having a decent teaching quality, having helpful resources at hand can also affect student learning. According to a book called How People Learn To, Learners' Contexts and Cultures, learning requires four conditions before it is effective. Learning is contextual, active, social, and reflective. 
So how does the BAB meet these criteria? Technology and resources present in classrooms such as monitors, whiteboards, and teaching assistants improve student learning experience by giving them more interaction and support. Students sit in circles to actively socialize and collaborate on group activities. Huddle boards allow students to demonstrate their learning and reflect on what they have learned. Displays around the classroom can give instructions to provide context to what the students should be doing in class. The BAB also offers REACH tutoring and the Student Success Center where students can get one-on-one -on -one academic help. So if students are still struggling understanding the concepts taught in class, they can reinforce the knowledge after meeting with a tutor. All of these elements can combine to promote a positive learning experience to students. Student learning is best achieved by a combination of having a positive and fun environment, good teaching experience, and additional helpful learning resources. The Belknap Academic Building provides a good example of promoting student learning because it utilizes these aspects. Other schools and educators should look at the Belknap Academic Building for inspiration to encourage students to do their best and also focus on other aspects of learning to further improve student experience. Hopefully, you can start improving how you interact with your students by understanding the learning process and how to approach it. most impactful to student learning, learning experience, classroom environment, or accessibility to resources? Can I say all of the above? Sure. 